All right, now we're going to get into a little bit of volume panning and other parameter editing. It's pretty easy to do in Ableton. And let's uh, jump right into it. First thing I, w I would like to do is go through the obvious approach to mixing volumes. What you would most likely be familiar with is if you click your tab key, you've actually got your volume levels here for every track. Here we've only got one audio and one MIDI track. So if we are to play our song, let's start with the volume down. Actually, let me uh, set a little loop point. There we go. Just hitting the tab key to click back over. And I can hit record and play. And I can slowly bring up the volume. And I'm just left clicking and dragging up. And I can always drag that back down. And if I replay it, it'll just remember everything I've done. So that's one way to actually do your volume editing, but that's not the easiest way. Over here, when you get into your arrange window, you see these little arrows down here. You can go ahead and click on those and open up another window. And as you can see here, it has just recorded the volume edits that we did here. Now how do you get to the volume edit if, if you haven't done it that way? Well normally when you open up this window it's going to say none on it unless you've recorded something. You would just go to your mixer here and then right underneath it it gives you the parameters. Your panning, your volume, your sends or whatever. So you just click on volume and then you can get in and all I'm doing is I got the magnifying glass I'm getting open. I'm going to go ahead and clear this envelope so it's just all flat. And there we go. Now if I wanted to make a volume slope, let's say for the first four measures, all the way up to measure five, that'd be really easy to do. I would just double click on the line and it makes a little what we call elbow. And then I'm going to go to the beginning of the track here and I could just double click at the beginning of the track and then I can just drag that down <coughs> and then it'll just make a slope and let me solo that just so you can hear that by itself and that's how you would make a fade in and you know you could always undo what you don't want if you decide to. You can just double click again and it'll get rid of that the elbows. Another cool thing that you can do is if you make a few elbows, let's say you just want to lower this section here, you can actually grab a section here. I've just made four little markers. Then I can drag this bar here and it'll just drag that whole bar down so you don't have to drag one and then drag the other like so. And all I'm doing is just holding down my left click mouse while dragging. It's real easy to do. Now what's also great about this type of editing is you could get in a lot deeper. For example, I've got a MIDI track here and this MIDI track I've got a synthesizer. So I've got my, my little synth part. Now obviously I can go in here and go to my mixer and then I can edit my volume or I can edit my panning. See? If you bring it up that's going to go to the right. If you bring it down that's going to go more towards your left speaker. Just so you know. But you've also got every effect and every parameter for every instrument that you use. So 
This is a CM101, thanks to Computer Music's free synthesizer. And if I click here, now I'm going to get this little window underneath. And what's really cool about it is if I click here, every single parameter, every possible thing that this synth can do, it has a parameter for. And you could, let's say you want uh, the VCA cut, and you could just just like you do volume, you could edit, essentially edit a knob. Or, if you wanted to, you could hit record. And you could move a knob like so. Just by clicking on it and dragging it, it'll record that movement. And when you go back, If it'll. Oh, well there's there's the movement of this right here that we've just done, and there's the movement right there that we just recorded. So two ways that you can actually record things, and you can get in really really close, and you could edit it to exactly where you want it, and that's really really cool. Another thing you can do is with your effects. So let's go back to the audio track here and I'm going to go to my EQ which I've got right here and each of these is just a different parameter see as you can look up here you'll see every when I move it it's going to find that parameter there you go or you could just simply if you want you can edit directly from inside here and there's your low gain mid high and you just need to get familiar with what's what but that gives you a lot a lot of control over uh, all of your editing. So that's basically how you uh, do your editing within Ableton. Experiment and have fun with it.